Hi guys and welcome back to another World of Warships video. Today I'm taking out the Phoenix as a tier 4 cruiser. Um, this is my very first f maiden battle in this thing. I'm taking on AI bots. Um, most notably just so I can get used to uh, the ship. It does come with uh, the hydroacoustic search, no smoke detections, and our torps Let's see, 66 seconds on the reload, 5.5 kilometers at 56 knots. Those torques are kind of piss poor. Our guns are seven second reload, 3K damage. Uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so we've got a Clemson, a Xiang, another Clemson, a Dane, an Omaha. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, second on the top of the team. Got a three point captain in this thing. Uh, 15 kilometer range is pretty impressive for a freaking cruiser. I've got some tier four and tier three battleships that don't even have that kind of range. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's actually pretty freaking impressive. Um, of course, the guns are one of these typical little putt putt guns that, uh, that they clearly want you to rely on on your oh, I've been detected gonna turn that shot's missed gonna turn back again not too bad I'm going to turn so I don't give him a better profile. I'm switching the armor piercing. Let's see what that can do. We set a fire. Yeah, you need to put it out immediately. Okay, armor piercing has a much better velocity. Oh, yeah. Turn. Oh, we've got a citadel there. Oh, another citadel. Torpedoes dead ahead and missed us. Missed us. We are currently capping. Plunge fire didn't do nothing. Okay, gonna turn. Slow down a wee bit. Got him. Those torps weren't doing nothing. I'm gonna stroll on up now. No aircraft carriers. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Two hits on him. I don't want to risk hitting our Oh, he got fucking destroyed. That's it. Quick game, nice. Four uh, citadels, not too bad, not too bad. 3,000 damage, oh sorry, 21,000 damage, 27 hits, one incapacitation, one destroyed, one fire, four uh, citadels, that's uh, that's pretty cool. We're going to hop on to another battle and uh, see if the matchmaker will be nice to us again. I actually got turned onto this ship by Warhammer 2020. Uh, one of my mods on the, my Twitch channel. Uh, he's like tier 8, tier 9s, almost tier 10s. <clears throat> and I think like three of the nations, uh, America, Japan, and I want to say Germany. But I'm not too sure. Okay, so this is uh, two Omahas. Nice. K 
okay okay so it's pretty much uh, uh, torpedoes so this is where my hydroacoustics is actually going to come into effect and of course I'm literally looking right at the enemy so uh, interesting interesting uh, unfortunately um, unlike World of Warplanes I really wish you could make uh, in World of Warplanes you can't make your minimap bigger at least I've not found an option that will let you do that alright so we switched, we've got the AP loaded uh, we didn't use our hydroacoustic search I uh, just told everyone in chat good luck uh, we're getting some really good friendly responses. I really wish there was a karma system uh, in this game, very similar to what you have in League of Legends now. Um, I've, I've noticed though there have been a lot of uh, games that I have played in League um, that have actually been quite quite good. Um, they have been very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, th they've been very kind. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. They've been very kind. Uh, because of the new karma system, if you receive so much bad karma, your account gets suspended uh, and various other things. Um, I, I would like to see a karma system like that brought into uh, uh, World of Tanks, World of Warplanes, World of, World of Warships. Um, it would literally weed out all the toxic players, in my honest opinion. And yes, there have been times when I've been considered a toxic player, where I've literally told people exactly what I thought of them. Um, but that's what Twitter's for, right? You know what I mean? Um, or oh, that's what your live streams are for. Um, with, a, them, with there not being a lot of, of torpedo boats here, I may go ahead and launch my hydroacoustic. There we go. We've got ah, a phoenix turning. You never want to stay on the same. There you go, turning again. See? You never want to stay on the same course. Gonna throw some torps down that island. Gonna turn. They're all firing HE at me. Ooh, nice little hit, set of hits. Oh, you turn from the torps. Come on. Some minor damage there. Oh, got to set it down. Oh, shoot. Come on now. Why won't you let me fire my torps? Nice minor damage. Some more minor damage, got a turn. Oh, he's down, good kill, good kill. The guns do turn pretty quick on target. Oh, no, no. Uh... Oh, he got ammo racked. Oh, we lost our Clemson. Sadly. Alright. Only one enemy ship left. 32 shots, two, only two citadels this game with one high damage. Torps really didn't do much, um, sadly. Uh, short range, high speed, what'd you expect? Um, this, to me, um, to me, it feels like the, the ship itself is a knife fighter. But it really doesn't have the armor or the speed. Um, it just doesn't feel like it. We've taken some mind damage this game. Um, let's see. Let's set our AA guns to target that. And I'm actually going to charge straight at it. I mean, not it's going to last that long. So it's Okay, apparently torps are up now. Okay, interesting. Our max speed is 33 knots. 
currently with a three point captain. You can coast a little bit more speed out via certain captain skills uh, and certain engine upgrades. I've only got the fire hazard upgrade and the main battery upgrade, which means it's really hard to knock out my guns. Um, since how the torpedoes are really more of a secondary weapon on this ship, in my opinion, that is. This is again, this is just my opinion. My opinion. Let's see. Well, the Omaha's lasted longer than I thought. We could try and get some plunge shots. No, it's over. GG. Nicely done. Um. Mm, not too bad. Yeah, no, I know. I got I got penalised for doing that. We'll get one more game in, and uh, we'll uh, we'll take a look at the uh, the ship in the port here in a bit. And welcome back to our third battle, guys. New Dawn. Clearly, clearly, clearly a Type 4 game. Nice. Again, a lot of cruisers. Um, mm. Got an Oregon and a Myogi. Now, we've got to be careful because that Myogi's got some seriously good guns. Uh, Strength-wise, accuracy of the guns, of course, have always been nerfed. We are clearly meant to head to Charlie. So... Just wish my team good luck. Uh, the ship itself only has uh, 2,500 hit points, um, which really isn't that much for a cruiser, especially at Tier 5. Um, I haven't gone up against human players yet. Again, I'm still just trying to find my feet, as they say. Uh, the fact that it's a minute and change for torps to load um, on this ship is just... Mm. It's like starting a game in World of Tanks and everyone has to load their tanks straight away. Do you really think the Death Star is going to get into a position where he can fire shots automatically? No, he's going to wait. Same as artillery. So you, I, I, unlike games like War Thunder where you all load in with a shell in the breach, you know? Um, a lot of people keep asking me, because um, you, know, you guys know I'm an ex-tank driver. They ask me, you know, do, do we drive with a, a shell in the breach? It depends. If it's a known combat uh, uh, operated area where we're, we're going to see combat, we were, we are known as what's that combat readiness, in which case we do have a, red, a, sh a couple of shells in the ready rack ready to go. But normally, no, we don't cruise around with a shell in the breach. Um, it's dangerous. There's a chance of misfire, um, especially if it's an electronic trigger. Um, there are certain Soviet tanks that were known for misfiring when they hit certain bumps at certain speeds which the gun will just fire the main battery gun will just fire and um same as certain french prototype tanks i'm not going to go into what but uh, there were certain french prototype tanks that were prone to uh, uh, uh discharge um and i know that kind of sounds dirty you know like oh he's got a discharge um but uh, there were some tanks out there that were prone to uh, uh, uh discharge of fire uh, let's see Phoenix. He's spotted me, so I'm going to turn. Hopefully these shells will miss. They have. You want to shoot at where they're going to be, not at where they're at. Got it. Slow mo. I did go with a wider spread. Um, reason why I went with a wider spread is because I want him to. I want him to turn, so I could do that. See. Whew, another beautiful citadel. More citadels. He's not even shooting at me now. Got a turn. Another citadel. More. Oh, 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 naughty, naughty, naughty. <gasps> they ran dry. Thank Christ. That was naughty.
Yeah, he's dead. Nicely done. To Dane. We're going to come around the island. Oh, we actually hit him with some plunge fire. Those look good. Ooh, nothing but net. I'm liking the guns on this ship. Um, it seems like the torpedoes were an afterthought. AA gun-wise, it has a very, very, very low... Um, a very, very... Oh, hit the island. Has a very, very, very low AA rating. I mean, look, that, those pl that plane's in six kilometers, and my AA guns aren't even firing. And they're set to fire at him. See? I would really like to see some uh, world attack, uh, some some mods that will uh, give me a couple of bounces. Yeah. Does he have torps? I think he has torps. His guns are firing at me now. Yeah. Ran aground. Torps are going to miss. Yeah. Still no uh, citadels. Got him. Not too shabby. Two kills. 47 shots. Four, four, four sits. Come on. I would like to go forward now. Thank you. Been detected by that damn... Look, three kilometers and my AA guns finally start going off. That... It... it uh, the AA guns on this ship need love. For a tier 4 that's going to see tier 5s, tier 6s, aircraft carrier, tier style range, I'm sorry, but it does need a little bit of a bump in the anti-aircraft gun department. Excuse me. And yes, I know that um, there are a lot of ships out there that are known for being, uh, what's the word, uh, aircraft, aircraft, uh, uh, anti-aircraft ships, you know? I mean, like, four kilometers. I'm sorry, but, but I think this thing has bofers, doesn't it? There's my spotters. Yeah, see? And my anti-aircraft guns aren't out of action. I'm still being spotted by that Orion. The ship just... Oh, that Omaha just took a whack. Now, the problem with this ship is it just... It turns really good. It just doesn't go in a straight line real fast. Um, 31 knots, 32 knots really isn't that fast for Tier 4. Um, not when you've got ships out there that are doing 45, 50 knots, you know, um, mostly, notably, usually Japanese, um, Japanese ships, um, and to me, I honestly feel like it's one of those odd, ugly ducklings, you know, that's going to always be uh, put onto the wayside. See, this is the problem with games that have multiple tech trees. I get it. The game company, like Wargaming, want players to have diversity. They want players to have a select, uh, an option to select. But at the same time, that puts a lot of load on the researchers and a lot of load. There we go, GG. And a lot of load on various other aspects of the game development team. And there are some things that have to fall to the wayside. Thirty-two thousand damage, not too bad. Forty-seven targets hit, one incapacitation, two destroyed. Four citadels, twelve defense, and one capture. 
that's not too bad let's go back to the pool real quick and uh, we'll take a look and uh, look at our modules so we averaged about 300 exp a game uh, which isn't that too bad that is not too shabby not too shabby at all um, my only issue with this ship is it's 152 millimeter guns are, are are good they i would say they're actually pretty accurate for american guns um compared to something like the arkansas beta where you can't hit the broadside of a fucking barn even at pinpoint accuracy you're better off just ramming the son of a bitch um as you can see the aa is just lacking um four four fifty cals four twenty eight millimeters and four seventy six millimeter guns um for secondaries they're just lacking they're, they're just lacking um and i get it historically as i was saying to you when they add a new a new tech tree a new faction or whatever to a game some of the older factions suffer um no, I am not looking for a, 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 a tier 4 Yamato. I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking for a ship that clearly has a designated role for what it's supposed to do. If that makes sense, guys. What I'm aiming for is a ship that is fun to play. And, and I have to admit, the ship is fun to play. I've got to give Warhammer props on this. Warhammer, Warhammer was the one who suggested that I might give this a try, that I would actually like it, and I do, I like it as a gunship, I don't like it as a torpedo ship, I really don't, I think this should be a hull option um, here to replace the torpedo launches with say uh, a set of anti-aircraft modules, you know, um, I think that would be pretty cool, and that way you've got a good little anti-aircraft gun and a good support cruiser. It would literally turn this in thing into a actual support cruiser. You can support the destroyers with gunfire because it's got 152 millimeter guns, which is good enough to get through uh, a lot of tier four, some tier five ships as you saw. Uh, tier six, absolutely not. Tier seven battleships, absolutely not. Uh, it's not meant to fight those anyway. Um, but the torpedoes are just lacking. I mean, earlier as you saw in that last game, same ship. You know, it, it was a Phoenix. He launched his torpedoes with the Narrows. Very nicely launched, I might add. Problem is, they drowned. They ran aground. They just... Boom, 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 and they self-destructed. They didn't even hit me. If they was, was to have hit me, that would have been game over. That would have been game of the truck over. Plain and simple. And I have, I literally have to give props to, to the AI that did that. Whoever coded the AI knows what they're doing. Um, there are some other games companies out there that could take some pages out of wargaming's book even wargaming themselves can take a page out of that book um show of hands here how many people that would like to see an ai option in world of tanks you know hands up if you'd like to see an ai option in world of warplanes exactly not every player wants to take on other players some people do enjoy just casually playing the game and just casually learning the ships and in building up the confidence to try pvp you know, um, there are some games out there that is, it's just true hardcore baptism by, by fire, most notably uh, um, Escape from Tarkov, um, although I would like to see a uh, uh, single player raid option myself, um, where you can actually loot and keep some of the loot, not all of it, you know, um, basically at the end, just like what you do with a scav, you can select what loot you can keep, because um, certain loot is spawned by rarity, so why not include that why not say okay this key is an ultra rare loot this scope is an ultra rare, rare loot you get to keep one what you're going to keep the key or the scope do you see what i'm saying things like that that would be an awesome thing to see uh for other games um but as for world of warships it's a fun little ship um i'm going to enjoy having it in my fleet uh as for other ships like my germans and stuff like that um Honestly, I can only really devote my time to one nation, which I have, which happens to be America right now. And yes, I do have uh, I have a, a Kawachi uh, Japanese Tier 3 battleship. Uh, this thing is an absolute joke. 
Um, it's worse than the Arkansas beta, and that's bad. Uh, most people don't have an Arkansas beta. Um, the Arkansas beta was given to the beta players who participated in the alphas and the betas. Um, it was considered to be, you know, I mean, look at look at the modules. Look at, look at, look at the module upgrade you can get. You know? You, you can get quite a lot of modules. Uh... And for that that price is just no, no way. There's no way you can cost of, you can justify the cost of two million dollars, three million dollars for for upgrades. I'm sorry, but wargaming's up in the night with that. Um, this isn't a tier ten ship. I would expect something like that with a tier ten ship, not a tier four. Just so I wouldn't. But anyway, um, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the review of. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed the review of the Phoenix guys. Fun little ship, absolutely love it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Good little American Tier 4 cruiser. And until then, guys, uh, keep sharing, fun, keep your image dying. Cover Commanders out, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye.